Hello, Laura here again. Thank you for watching another video of mine. Thanks for tuning in. And today I wanted to talk about, about how the real truth will set you free. You know, the DWs refer to, use the term, the truth. Yeah. <laughs> is what I've learned. <laughs> I think it's important just to spread the word out there. You know, it's questioning one's belief is not a sign of weakness. Beliefs, I should say, sorry. Is not a sign of weakness. Asking one que asking questions means you're means you're exercising critical thinking and it means you're smart, not everybody. From the time we're kids, we ask questions. You know, at Watchtower would say, you know, you're just, you know, you're just spiritually weak. You know, trust us. Don't worry. We'll just, you know, trust us. You've got the truth. Just don't do any research. <laughs> So I wonder why is it that JWs can research other religions and question and put down other religions all they want, yet when it comes to the JW whole system of beliefs, no, you're not allowed to question it at all. Seems very strange. You know, Watchtower has some power, powerful tools that they use on their members, like fear, the fear mongering. You know, and you know, when I was in, it was always too like, you know, it's Satan's world out there. There's nothing good out there. It's, yeah, like <laughs> everybody's evil and bad and associate with them as little as possible. Stay in Jehovah's Organization, that's where the safety is. And for some members, it's probably too uh, more of a fear that they're question if they're afraid to question their beliefs because they're afraid that they'll be wrong. Like what they believed so many years is not true. So I think there's some that would just that just don't and you know when I remember out in service when we would whenever we would encounter people at the doors that were clearly informed about about you know JW's being more of a cult and a false religion we would typically just after leaving we would just typically write it down as a do not call or opposed. In other words, we're not, we don't want to keep going back to try to reason them, reason with them. No, our strategy overall is to just avoid, okay, we'll make sure we don't go back to that house. Ugh. <laughs> and you know, just, I think a lot of you know how the JWs label and define apostasy. It's like it doesn't even, the actual definition of apostasy doesn't even mean what they say it to mean. But, you know, like the JWs, they just, they micromanage every aspect of our lives. You know, they keep us so busy with meetings and service and reading all their literature and studying and you know you can only have JW friends there there's so many ways they micromanage us like hairstyles tattoos even down to stuff like that like and they really discourage discussion and like thinking outside the box definitely like you could definitely say that they 
keep their members in a bubble for sure. And you know, after so many years, I, for me anyways, I started to just like, you know, for an organization to, to tell their people, you know, just don't do any research outside of like websites that they approve, like that should be a more of a major red flag, not a sound piece of advice or instruction. Like it, I slowly started thinking like it must it. I think it points more to that they have something to hide, secrets to hide, an agenda to hide. It can't be that they want us to stay away for our safety. They, you know, and and even just kind of where where their fear played into played into it is like. <laughs> I knew, I knew of members that had such a fear of looking like, like they would not, they would get a panic attack just thinking of going on a, like on an apostate website and even to the point where, like you could imagine like, it's almost as the government, it's almost as Watchtower was saying to that member, you know, like, remember, don't go to these websites that we don't approve. If you even log on or look into a book on that, it, remember, there'll be a lightning bolt with your name on it. And it's also just like Watchtower saying, like, don't worry, trust us. You can just turn your brain off. We've done all the thinking and research for you. So you don't, there's no need for you to look into any of it. Yeah. <laughs> for me, the, the start of it for me was looking at jwfacts.com, I would say. And you know what? And you know what? I'm glad I did from the first time that I went on that website. And I, I'd i say I found exactly what I thought it would, what I thought I would find. By that, I mean there was no fakery, no lies, no deception. It was all... All the information was sound, fact-based, like these are quotes and facts from their own literature and videos and books, like ex-members, like the kind of evidence that you could not just easily twist it around to make it that, it, that it's lies, that it's just like it can't like get real. <laughs> Ugh, <laughs> I was just, it didn't surprise me at all. I was, inside, I was happy that I, like, just even, like, <laughs> kind of like, I knew it. I, like, I knew it that I, <laughs> that I wasn't going to, you know, I had just, I had thought too, like, if I really do have the truth, my mind should be able to handle this, not, like, my faith, my faith too, like, I should be able to walk out of this unscathed, because that is truly testing your faith. Truly testing your faith is not 
of waiting, of waiting, doing research like that, and not just, you know, staying away, like, keeping your blinders on, like, <laughs> A very good example of this is, um, and I would say in a good example of fact, hard, solid facts, as opposed to what Watchtower says, saying it's all, I would say that I have found out, no, that I have found out, uh, 607 BCE. That's the year that Jerusalem was destroyed by the Babylonians. And it's important to Watchtower because it is a calculation that makes it equal out to 1914. And important date, well, you know, it's, it's right on the ancient Babylonians' own records. They're cuneiform tablets. They were excellent record keepers. And it had to do with um, though the dates on those Nebuchadnezzar's rule and that it lined up with uh, the astrology dates, the stars in the sky. It, their own record from that time proves that it was actually 587 BCE, not 607 BCE. And, and thanks to many XJW info from other XJWs, I have come to learn, too, that Watchtower has misquoted, like even scientists in the world. I know they've gotten in trouble with a few of them over the years for misquoting them by leaving out leaving out certain words of a quote they made to make it sound like something else. I think they're... I think the JW New World Translation is also a good example of changing, changing the wording and to make it sound like it's saying something else, but then to just always not directly will kind of in a way like to, to put down other Bible translations. I know they're not going to say get rid of all these other Bibles, but usually they would most prefer that you only use their translation. You know, they think their translation is the best one in the world. No. It's actually not. It's I've actually, I've actually come to learn and seen some, like, Bible scholars, historians that actually say that the JW New World Translation Bible is one of the worst Bible translations that they've ever seen. And I'm just like... And this... All my years being a JW, I mean, I had the point that, I, you know, I just, I, I believed it was the truth, so I, so I just, you know, I just, but I guess <laughs> that's just one point that I wanted to stress and really share with everybody that questioning your beliefs and that it's like is is a smart move, not a stupid move. You know, it it <laughs> it means you're a thinker. Not like it's you're not stupid for questioning your beliefs. You're smart, you're learning, you're growing, you're freeing your mind. And learning the real truth about Watchtower, I have a huge, overwhelming feeling of 
If only I knew then what I know now. That's how I would say that learning the real truth about the Watchtower has... That's why I would word it, the real truth has set, has set you free. Can set you free. You know? No more fear. No more obligation. No more service. <laughs> no more fear of, you know, even just serving with a date in mind. You know, it's always right around the corner, right around the corner, right around the corner. And it's... Uh, it is... It's so freeing to be out of that religion for me. And I just, I... It's just part of my motivation, why I make these, why I decided to make videos. I just wanted to help anybody that like if you want to leave the JW religion I would say it's it's worth it. It is worth it. It might be really hard at first but you know I think they'll they'll be bad days but it'll get better. It'll get much better. It definitely uh, bad times won't last forever. It'll. I can promise you'll have you'll experience much more freedom and happiness in the long run than you ever would if you would if you stayed in there. I think one of my regrets is that I is that I stayed in as long as I did. It was 18 years total. I was baptized 15 of the years, but I count the years I studied too. So it would add up to 18 years. So, man, I, I, I wish... Is I, I wish these... I kind of wish the... The XJW movement had was around back then. It wasn't odd. I was studying early two thousands, and YouTube and Facebook weren't weren't even around yet. So the only way I could have done true research was a a book, or if I did come across anything on the internet, it was it would have been more difficult to find stuff back then. But also back then I was pretty new. I, I was, I really thought I did have the truth for a number of years. But I've been very thankful, like thanks to social media and the XJW community that's really, that's, really been growing and growing these past few years and I am forever grateful. I'd like to thank all of you for making great videos, even some who were never even Jehovah's Witnesses. Thank you for all your videos, your books. And I'm just happy that my mind, that I, that I myself just finally hit that point, you know, like, I gotta, like, I can't go through the rest of my life and never look into this stuff, like, that's, that's not reasonable, I gotta, so yes, I would definitely say the real truth set you free for sure I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video like and subscribe if you want to and other than that I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye bye <laughs>